So let's say you have an annual income, and let's let's give you an annual income of let's start with thirty-two thousand two hundred dollars, and this is your annual income, referred to as your gross income. This is the money that you have coming in throughout the whole year, and what you want to figure out is what are you going to pay in federal taxes. How do you do it? What do you what do you start to calculate, and um, how does this relate to what other incomes are out there? Well, in this video, we're going to look at some of the basics, the most fundamental basics of understanding how to calculate what you'll be paying in taxes. And we'll look at different gross income. So we're going to start with 32200 Now, if you pull up federal taxes, you go online, I came across this little table right here. I think I got it from Invest Investopedia. It looks a little bit complicated, right? There's a lot of things happening here. We've got all this stuff to look at, we've got tax rates, and then all these different categories. Are you single? Are you married filing your taxes together? Are you married filing your taxes separately? Or are you just classifying yourself as a head of household? Okay, that's a lot to think about. But then on top of that, there's even more. We have all these different tax rates, 10%, 12%, so on and so forth, all the way up to 37%. And then within each of these are these different ranges. Now to understand what's going on here, we should first realize that what's happening is that we have a progressive tax rate system. It's progressive. And these different tax brackets right here mean that we, we tax different parts of your income different amounts. Isn't that crazy, right? Different amounts of your income are taxed at different rates. And the more you make, right, the higher and higher this goes, the higher the tax rate goes. So how do we deal with all of this? What do we do? We said our annual income is 32,200, right? Well, just to make matters a little more confusing, um, we have to find the tax bracket that we're, our income is in. But first, we must think about what's called a standard deduction. OK, so I grabbed this definition right off the IRS website to make sense of what's going on. And it turns out that um, with deductions, there are two types of standard deductions, 24400 for a married filing jointly, and then 12200 for single deductions. What are deductions? Well, they're, those are the amounts that you subtract from your annual gross income, the amount that will not be taxed. And what's left over is your taxable income. So to keep this simple, let's just assume we're filing single. Now my table is a little bit less scary. So we started with 32,200. And what's that? That's our gross income, right? This is our gross income. But the government is not going to tax us on all of this. We get to deduct some amount from this, and then the government will tax what remains. Now, are there other ways to do deductions? Yeah, there are all kinds of credits and deductions. But here we're starting with the basics. So let's say you take a standard deduction of 12,200. This is your standard deduction. The government is going to leave that alone, the federal government. This is our standard deduction. And what remains, that difference, is going to be $20,000, excuse me. That number is your taxable income. So the government's going to tax you on this. This is our taxable income. OK. So now what do we do? Well, we know what our taxable income is. Let's go find the bracket that applies to us. Well, I notice if our taxable income is 20,000, I notice, okay, that's between 97,001 and 39,475. So it's this right here that we're looking at. Okay, now what that means is we start off by taking 12%. Now 12%, you might remember, is 12 divided by 100, literally, which is 0.12. And you want to, if you want to find 12% of some amount of, of, of money or some number, you just multiply by 0.12. So to start off understanding what the taxes will pay from this gross income, we're going to take 12% of 20,000, but not the whole thing, right? This is a progressive tax system. We're taking 12% on the amount that's above 9,700. And where did I get that number from? Well, it's right below the bottom of this range right here. It's 9,700. 
because really the second bracket, this 12%, is all of the money you have above 9,700, the money in the previous bracket. So whatever amount you have that's over 9,700, that amount you're going to be paying 12% on. And then we kind of just slide down here. Boop. Here we go. Boop. Now, there's still more money in our income, and it's not like we're not going to get taxed on that, right? Um, we're going to get taxed on this next piece, but the amount we're going to be taxed on is less. So plus 10%. 10% over right up here is 10 divided by 100 is 0.1. I just think of money. It looks like 10 cents, 10%. 12 cents, 12%, 12 see how we're just saying exactly what it is? Well, now we take 10% of what's left, right? And that's gonna be, in this case, 9,700, right? We had 9,700 plus the amount above 9,700 in the second part. And this will give us our total tax taxes that we're paying. Um, one thing to think about is that you, you can keep track of all this work, all the numbers inside these parentheses right here, and we'll, we'll verify this in a moment. Those should add up to your taxable income here. It should add up to 20,000, and that will always be the case. So um, let's, let's do some math. Let's do some calculations. So here, we wanna find out what we're going to be paying in taxes. So I'm gonna pull my calculator over to this side and get to work. We have 0.12 times the difference of 20,000 and 9,700 plus 0 0.1, 10 percent of 9,700. And this is going to tell us the total amount we owe in taxes, 2,206. Okay, 2,206. Now what this is, this is, these are our federal taxes. Okay, and let's just make sure we set up our equation correctly. This is a nice check to do. You take 9,700, you're paying 10% on that amount, plus you're paying on the difference of 20,000 and the 9,700 that we already paid 10% on. So if we add these two amounts, that should account for the full taxable income, and it is, is 20,000. If those numbers don't add up to your taxable income, you're missing something. And what I usually mess up when I'm subtracting here, I, I would do something like 20,000 minus 9,701, which I see as the bottom of this bracket right here. But really, they're just approximating this range. This 12% range starts right after you're at 9,700. So every amount after 9,700 will be taxed at 12%. Now that's our first example. And in the next video, we will look at another example.